Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good night, sweetheart. How are you? It's Lisa with Crafting and Cruising. I feel like I hadn't seen y'all in a month of Sundays. It's been quite a while. I've been camping, been out of town. So when you hop on, we say hi. My sweet husband is out of town, not with us tonight. So I'm going to try to read comments and craft. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Um, and we'll see what happens. Maybe we can do it without him. Maybe we can't. Hey, Barbara, thank you for spreading the joy. Y'all, I'm sorry I had posted that I was going to be on at um, 7.30 a.m. Took me a while to figure out how in the world to get it changed. But I did. So we're going to be making a cool cross tonight. This is Holy Week. This was the day that Jesus went and taught in the temple. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tracy. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so you guys, when you get on, say hello. Let me know you're here. If you watch a replay, please hashtag replay. And let me show you a little bit about what we're going to do. If I can find. Here they are. Okay, so we're going to make a cross out of clothespins. And I got a set of, let's see, 16, 16, I think 64 clothespins at the Dollar Tree, okay? And they came like this. I've already started the process. In fact, I've already made two. Um, but I want you all to see how this is going to go. You have no comments on your side? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'll tilt you down in a minute. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take these clothespins apart and we're going to get rid of this little spring in the center, okay? So I did, well, you need 16 for this project. I have already done 13, okay? So now that I've got this done, I'm going to stand up and try to tilt y'all down. Y'all couldn't figure out how to do it on my new ring light because I think I can't figure out how to put the holder back on, so I have y'all on a different situation tonight. So here's what we're going to do. I took burnt umber. Now, you can take, this is Decolor uh, burnt umber by Americana. I did not flip my camera. You can take any stain. You can take um, paint like I'm doing, acrylic paint. And thin it down. Um, you could actually just paint it a solid color if you wanted to. Totally up to you. But I want mine to kind of look like the old rugged cross. So I put some burnt umber here. You can see where I've been working today. And been practicing to make sure that it was all going to come together right. So I just thinned this out. I could actually thin it out a little bit more. So we are on until 8.15. I've got a camera, I mean a clock in front of me, but somebody might need to remind me. Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. See, this is just very, very soupy. Now, earlier today when I did this, I did not put gloves on. Y'all could have seen my hands. I went to pick up my granddaughter and she wanted to go to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken to get some food to go. And I took her over there. And I was so embarrassed when I held my hand out the window. I thought, this woman's going to think something's wrong with me. So, even though I haven't gotten it all out from under my fingernails, this is what I'm going to do. So, you can paint them while they're still together. But it's hard to get in these little nooks and crannies. Is it absolutely necessary to paint in here? No. It's not, because we're going to glue them back together to look just like a clothespin. But for me, I want my projects to look good, no matter which way you look at them. <clears throat> so when I practiced my second one today, let me take these off here that I've already done, because I'm going to show you what I did. 
I actually laid them, the flat side down, into this liquid. Because that'll go on and get one part of them covered in the stain or the paint. It's pretty smart, huh? And this part seems like it would take a long time because if you're using 16, um, 16 clothespins, then that's 32 that you're having to do. Hey, Brittany. But it doesn't take long at all, okay? So now I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm just going to rub some of this extra that's laying around here right here in the middle of all of these. This is going to be the part that's going to be on the inside, so nobody is going to see it. But I'll know if it's done or not, so I guess it's um, maybe some kind of OCD or something I have. I don't know. I don't really think I have OCD, but, but I just like things to be finished. So, if I don't get it all covered, that's totally fine, too. Because, like I said, once I get it put together, I can come back and touch it up. And what I actually did today, when I was practicing, was once I got these all assembled, I took my sander, my gator sander, and I went back and roughed it up some. Because the whole time I was doing this, I was singing songs about the old rugged cross. And you know, I don't think the cross was pretty at all. What happened on it definitely was not pretty. But remember you guys, Sundays are coming. Sundays are coming. So this is Passion Week, Holy Week. And I hope you guys have taken some time so far this week to really reflect um, what this week means. If you are Christ's follower, some of you may not be. Um, but for us as Christians, it is the holiest of the weeks for us. And um, when we get to Good Friday, it's really a very somber day. But we can always say, hold on, Sundays are coming. Thank you, Sister Jen. I love you. Okay, so now let's get these all covered. And like I said, I did some earlier. And I even made a crown of thorns. Well, it wasn't really a crown of thorns. When Rodney gets back in town... I'm going to ask him to go down in our valley because we I have made crowns of thorns before from actual thorn bushes down there. And y'all, I'm just going to tell you right now, just touching those thorns was so painful to me. And I, I can't, I, I love the movie The Passion of the Christ. I don't love it. I, I, I like the movie. I cannot watch any of the crucifixion or what led up to it. I just can't. I have to cover my eyes. I have to cover my ears. I just can't do it. But if you haven't ever seen it, I would encourage you <clears throat> this week. Try to make it a point to watch it. Okay, so now I have these right here done. While they are drying, we are going to start putting them back together, the ones I've already done, just like this, okay? So, like I said, we're going to reassemble them to look just like they were. Now, they're not always going to fit perfectly, but that's okay. And there's three little high places here. One, two, three. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on each one of those high places before I put one on, the other one on. And when I do, I put it on, I'm going to try to line them up. There's a little hole right down there. You can see that little bitty hole right there. So if you try to line the hole up on both sides, you'll get a lot of little glue strings. That's okay. We can turn our heat tool on later and get those off. 
just kind of hold them together for a minute down there. Now, you can use wood glue. The only glue that I had, uh, well, I had Fabri-Tac, um, and I have tacky glue, but I did not have any um, uh, Gorilla Glue wood glue. I just had some clear Gorilla Glue, and y'all, I tried it on here. It didn't work. It wasn't holding, and um, I thought, no, this is taking too much time, so I've got to get these put together, so I'm just using enough hot melt glue to hold them together, and it does really well. So what is going to happen after we get all of these lined up, then I have an actual pattern printed off of how we're going to glue them together to make a cross that's very unique. Um, it's not a pretty cross. And y'all, I have lots of pretty crosses in my house. But when you think about the cross that Jesus died on, it wasn't pretty. You can't either, Barbara. Ugh, I, I just can't. I think it's probably the most well done depiction of what probably actually happened to Christ on the cross. Um, and I, I just, I think Mel Gibson did an unbelievable job with that. So tell me what y'all are doing today. It has been gorgeous here today. Yesterday it stormed, last night it stormed. My tulips have already bloomed and are kinda on the last little bit of blooming. Um, my Japanese red maple trees are looking gorgeous. Um, and so spring is definitely coming. However, I know Tennessee weather well enough to know that um, the likelihood of us being totally through with winter yet is not real strong. Maybe, but we usually have like blackberry winter and um, dogwood winter and oh, somebody told me one the other day when we were camping, what was it? Linen, bri linen breeches? It's a flower that grows by the side of the road and I've heard of something breeches. I've heard of the name of the flower but I haven't heard it called linen breeches or something. It was so funny. So Barbara, I'm sure all of your flowers are starting to be beautiful. I've told Barbara I want her to come here and make my yard look pretty. Problem is, I want her to come take care of all the weeds all the time, too. <laughs> I'm so tired of having to cover every flower and bush in my yard. And I don't know, Barbara. That's another reason why I don't do it, Barbara. See, I'm just too lazy for that. I just don't like it. Now, when you line these up, here's another thing I should have told you. Not only do you want to line them up by that little circle... I think I might take these gloves off because they're sticking. But make sure that you line them up flat, front to back, you know, so there's not one side sticking out more. Hey, Deborah Jen, my sister, how are you? Good to see you. Let me take these off. I can put more on if I need to. Okay. Oh, so much better. I, can't, I just don't do well with gloves, y'all. I also don't do well with those finger protectors, and today, yeah, got some glue on my finger, and I went, oogie achi, my jasmine's going crazy right now, backyard smells, ooh, I bet it does, my um, wisteria last year didn't bloom at all, we thought it was going to die, and it bloomed this year not near as much as it has in the past. And I told Ronnie the other day, I said, how come I haven't smelled it? Like, normally when you go out, the wisteria smell will knock you over. Well, I went down today to take some um, pictures of my flowers, what few I have, Ronnie. And um, my wisteria, I could smell it. It was like, yes. Okay, I'm going to dry these that I just finished right here real quick. Um, so we can put them together. Hey, Carol Stinson, how are you? Hey, Denise, my sweet sister, how are you? 
Rodney's not with me. Rodney's in Alabama. He has a job to do there tomorrow. Um, he's training a guy too, and so they did some plant tours today and then headed to Alabama. He's got a sty under his eye, y'all. He used to get those a lot, and he hasn't had them in a while. Um, but he said he could hardly sleep last night because it was so bothering him so much. Can y'all pray for Rodney? Okay, let's get these finished. So, I want y'all to throw me some hearts if you are going to the first ever swag retreat. And just know I'm throwing hearts because I can. Yeah, I know. He does use hot compresses, Jen. Ooh, I see those hearts. Woo, 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 woo. I'm so excited. August can't get here quick enough. I know it's going to be hot, y'all, but... We can handle it. We're big girls. And it's just going to be so daggum much fun to be with Jennifer and Debbie and Mara and all my sisters. I used to have them three or four at a time when I was younger. Yeah. He's got blue eyes. His eyes are very, very sensitive anyway. But he used to get them a lot more than he has recently. Y'all know it's a form of herpes, right? The styes in your eye. It's a form of herpes, which sounds gross, but it just is. This needs to be dried a little bit more. So does everybody have big plans this weekend? Tell me what you're going to be doing. We are going, I think my daughter and her family from Lexington are coming in town. And then we're going to the family farm where his brother and sister-in-law live now. They're going to have a big egg hunt for the children and I heard that hey, Susie Zane hey sister I know I know you won't see me at Beth and Randy's um I heard that we're supposed to have like maybe 45 family members there y'all it's gonna be huge okay so I'm gonna move this paint out of the way so we can start putting it together so now we have a pattern here and I'm going to try to lay it out so you all can understand what I'm doing. If you decide you want a copy of this pattern, I'll be happy to send you a copy of it. Um, you just need to um, send me a message. But um, it numbers them 1 to 16 and it shows you just what to do. So this is going to be number one and we are going to lay it flat can y'all see that? I think you can. Okay, number one is flat. Number two and number three are going to be glued to either side of number one. Now, you'll notice on here, on these little things, that there's notches in the side, okay? So when I glue this flat side up here, I'm going to line the top of number two and number three up with that notch on either side, okay? So let me go on and do that. And actually what I'm gonna do is put the glue on both sides of my base piece. And then I'm going to attach, and you wanna lay it down when you do it so that you can make sure that everything is going to lay flat. Now I'll hold it up and show you in just a minute. Let me make sure that's got a good stick. But if you use these little notches to your advantage to line it up, then it's real easy, okay? All right, hey, Micheline, sister. Okay, so that's one and two. I mean, one, two, and three, okay. Number four and number five are actually going to go sideways like so to start making the side of the cross. This is the hardest part because you have to put the glue on these little end pieces and then hold them up against the side right at the bottom of the 
one above it, the one that you're attaching it to, and let it cool off, okay? So this is number four and five. Okay, let that sit for just a minute. <clears throat> then number six and number seven, and it doesn't matter which ones you use, these are going to go out here on the side. And the way we're going to know how to line them up so they'll match is that, again, right where this little notch is, I'm going to put it right here at the end of this one above it. Okay? So I'm just going to put some glue right here, lay it down, line it up. Same thing on the other side. Oh, yeah, I'm one laying there. Okay, I'll hold it up in just a minute. Now, these, if you're going to hang them like on a wall, you'll want to put just a little nail in the wall, like a teeny tiny little nail that you can prop it on, unless you want to try to put some kind of hanger on the back. Okay, these... This top one is not staying together well, so let me put a little more glue down there and give it a second. They didn't glue together well. And then where I have some extra glue right here, I can just go back and sand that down. I'm going to wipe off the excess right here. And then I can just sand it down. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Can you see how it's coming together? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to do eight and nine. So the way we're going to do eight and nine is that they are going to come in and make the open. What they're going to do is this flat part right here is going to line up with this little notch that's right here. I know it's really hard for you to see. But if you just keep in mind that most everything we're doing is lining up with the notches, that sort of helps you keep your guideline, okay? All right, so now this one is going to line up with this notch. Sorry if y'all can hear my dogs. I'm in the motor home, and uh, if they hear a leaf move or anything, you know, that's their um, cue to bark. Mm -hmm. Whoops! I just, <laughs> just broke apart another one. Let me glue it back together. So, y'all, these would be great to put in Easter baskets for children to have in their room. They would be great to hand out if you're going to have an Easter luncheon to your guests. Okay. And don't y'all think it kind of looks like an old rugged cross? To me, it really doesn't look so much like, um, like clothespins. Okay. Now, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one right here straight up and down in the center. So I'm going to have to kind of wedge it in there. It's really, according to the pattern, not the one that's supposed to go next, but it's the one I'm going to do next because it gives me extra support. I learned that on the last one I did. So again, I'm going to line it up with these little notches. If I need to pull it apart a little bit, I can, like that, and then line the top of this one up with those little notches and hold it together. And it forms a, a real interesting little pattern in the center. I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? These are supposed to... Hold on. Ah, oh, I know what I did. Okay, this up here was supposed to go down here. 
Okay. Let me see if it fits better that way. Yeah, it does. Okay. So let me glue these on. They were supposed to line up down here. And see right there where that paper came off, or that color came off? I'll just touch it up in a minute. Okay, same with this. I get to talk and I'm not paying attention. Okay. So is this right now? Yes, this is right. Okay. So now I'm going to put glue right here, 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 and here. Maybe a little bit up here. And line these up. All right, let me get these glue strings off here so it'll look better when y'all see them. Okay, so here's what we have. Okay, so now that was eight and nine, and we've got ten in. Now we're going to do... 11 is going to go right here beside this piece, and 12 is going to go right here beside this piece. So, we're just going to put a teeny tiny little bit of glue on each one of these. And hold these on here. I should have put some. Let me put some on the top too. Okay. And I need to put some on the top here. So I'll go back and read your comments or questions so I can see what everybody's going to be doing for Easter. Y'all, if you don't have a church to go to, for Easter, but you would like to go to church or like to see church online, our church is going to have online services too on um, Saturday night and I think five on Sunday. And our, I'm going to glue these right down here. Our church is crosspoint.tv. So, if you go to crosspoint.tv on the internet, you can watch the services live. It's 9 and 11 on Sunday. I, th I don't know what they are on Saturday. Well, that's, that's our normal time. So, if you go to crosspoint.tv forward slash Easter, you will see the service times listed for Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'm, of course, partial to my church. I absolutely love my church and my pastor. And um, so I would love for you to not be home by yourself and not be able to enjoy church. Okay, so this one now is going to go up here in the middle. I'm trying to read this diagram. <laughs> Okay, it's going to go right there. So I've got to put glue on both sides and I'll hold it. We just got one more after this and then I'll hold it up and show y'all. Okay. I think it's actually supposed to go up a little bit. Right there. And then... We will put our last one on. It goes right down here. Some of them go right side up. Some of them go upside down. Put a little glue on the inside there to get that to stick. And on the inside here. And let me kind of wipe the extra off. I love these. Now, I also have 
some totally dazzled crosses that I want to show you to see. Thank you, Barbara, for putting it. No, it does not have an E on the end. C R O S S P O I N T dot T V. So leave that E right off. Then you'll have it. I think there actually is a cross point with an E church, but that's not my church. Um, so. I'm going to get y'all's opinion on the Totally Dazzled to see what you think. I know the cross is rugged, and I was trying to make it look like a rugged cross. And we can just leave it, y'all look. We can just leave it like that. But, let me just show you. First of all, I'll go back and touch it, do some touch-up on the paint. I want to show you one I did already where I took some of the um, paint off with my sander. Here's one I did, and you can just see how I took the gator sander and just kind of scrubbed some edges off. It's not a lot. It's very subtle. Thank you for those hearts. Um, here's another one. And remember, Jesus was on the with three crosses. He was in the middle. Thank you so much for those hearts. Okay, so look. Here is, let's do the one that we did together. I made this crown earlier. Well, y'all. Hold, please. Let me just glue this thing right back together. getting it up far enough. Hold on. I might have to demo with another one. Or just be patient, Lisa. Be patient and hold it down. Y'all ever do that? Talk to yourselves? Okay. Let me just set that to the side. I'll show you on one of these. So, I made this. And all I did, y'all, I, I tried to get, I have a, um, grapevine wreath in my studio and I tried to get some out to make one but it broke. I mean the, the stuff was so dry it just broke. So I did this one and then I also did one that's a little bit thicker to represent the crown of thorns. Maybe wood glue. It, well that's what they recommended Jennifer that I didn't have wood glue all I had was um, some other glue by Gorilla, but I didn't have wood glue. So, and I tried it with my other glue by Gorilla, and it didn't do anything. It wouldn't stick, probably because the paint was on here. Okay, so let me show you some ideas I had, and y'all tell me if you think that I should put um, a cross somewhere on it. We'll decide later where. But I'm just going to show you some ideas of some totally dazzled crosses that I think are gorgeous. And again, it could be right in the center. It could be up at the top. Up here. I don't really like it down here. I think if I did it anywhere, I'd do it in the center. Okay, now this one I love because if you look very closely, it's smaller but if you look very closely on the sides, there's little crowns that the jewels are in. That's sweet. So this would be one. Oh, these glue strings drive me crazy. Okay. Now I have one that's very colorful. That would give it a little pizzazz. If we liked that, no, y'all, so many choices. I have one with pearls that's gorgeous. I'm trying to hold it so y'all can get a good idea of how it would look. I have a bigger one that's just, it's like the crowns on the other one, but the whole thing is bigger. And let me show you what it would look like, like if we put it up here. 
if we took one of the crowns and put it at the top um, instead of in the center. I don't think I like it as well, especially not since we'll have the crown of thorns on there. And then I have this one that's very sweet in the um, antique bronze, and it's smaller. Okay, so let's do this. First of all, send me hearts if you do think I should put one of the totally dazzled um, crosses on there. Send me hearts. There's some hearts, okay. Okay, so I guess we're going to put a piece of Totally Dazzle. Okay, <clears throat> then we have to decide. <laughs> All right, so y'all just start looking as we go so you can you can put a, a letter in there, okay? Barbara Polston, I need you to keep up with the letters, who, which one gets the most, okay? All right, this is A. This is B. Thank you, Barbara. This is C. That's, no, that's not the one with the little crowns. That's the antique bronze, too. Hey, Carla, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you'll give us a follow. All right, that was C. This smaller one with the little crown holding the jewels is D. Okay, the big one with the pearls is E. And this little one, antique bronze, is F. Hey, Grace. Love you, sister. Jen says E. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So, time to vote. A, B, C, D, E, F. If you need to see another one, let me know. And Barbara's going to keep up with that. Lots of E's, a C, a C. Micheline likes A and C. No, she likes A and E. Joyce likes A. A and E, Susie Zang. A and E. She likes big and little. Okay, so I think we've ruled out B. I think we've ruled out D. And I think we've ruled out F. So, we have A. You know what? Let me put the, the um, crown of thorns on here so you can kind of get the full look. I'm going to use this bigger one. So we have A, we have C, thank you Carla, and we have E. A, C, and E. Cheryl says C. Susie says A. Joy says A. Mary says A. That's three A so far. Denise says A. Jennifer says E. <laughs> Micheline loves A and E. Okay, here's what we can do. We can put A on one and E on the other. The white and the pearls is special meaning. That's true. 
right, since I've got three of them, then we're going to do A and E both. Do these have, no, these don't have little things on them. Now, do I have available? Y'all, when I travel as much as I do, it's really hard to keep all of my supplies with me, like every place with me. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to use, I would use B7000, but it's packed. So, I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue. Just make sure that you don't put them both in the same place. Let's see if I can get this open. It's been a hot minute since I used E6000. I'm so used to B7000 with my little tip on it, I like. Okay, so this one we're going to put a, um, you like the dark side or the lighter side? Can touch up. Okay, so let's put. Um, some, and I guess y'all like it in the middle. Let's see. Put some here, put some here. Some here, and then I'm gonna put some hot glue here, 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 and here. Okay, let's put it right in the middle. that one, and then, that one needs to be touched up, so let me use my original one for the pearls. I'm trying to figure out which side. Okay, so here we go again. <laughs> Y'all, I'm an affiliate with Totally Dazzled. If you go on my page and look under the feature and go to, to the right to my link tree, you'll find my Totally Dazzled link there. Um, or in the comments, you can put exclamation point link tree, all in lowercase letters, no spaces exclamation point link tree and it'll send you to my link tree three minutes thank you Barbara I'm so grateful that you all came on today and um, supported me uh, and patient with me while my husband wasn't here to read comments um, oh that's pretty I like that Jen I'm going to put I'm going to put this one on here and if, like I said, if you're not following Crafting and Cruising, I hope you'll give us a follow. Joining our Telegram is really the best way. Telegram is awesome, y'all. Thank you, Jennifer. And crazy things have been happening with the Book of Faces, so um, we all need you to join Telegram um, so you'll know when we're going live. So thank you, Barbara. So everyone, if you're on the um, Craft Realm O'Clock page, please just refresh your page and go on and watch the next presenter and show them some love. And I hope you have a glorious Holy Week. I um, uh, hope you can worship the Lord. And um, I will be on Thursday doing something. I'm not sure what, but I will be on Thursday doing something. And then Saturday, 
I'll be at the family farm and Sunday we'll be with family. So I love you guys so much. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Barbara. And um, thank you, Cheryl. Love you all and um, be blessed and go out and bless someone. Bye.